So what's going on guys and welcome back to Blender in. So in this tutorial we're gonna create this scene where our objects follow another object. So to create that first we need to delete everything on our viewport and add a cube or any object you would like. So I'm just gonna go to the top view and scale this down. And now I'm gonna show, duplicate this y axis. So shift D and Y and after you move the duplicated cube in the Y axis you just press shift R for 8 or 9 times so that you get this and we're gonna do the same thing to the X axis as well. So now once you've done that I'm just gonna move this entire block uh, to the middle so G and shift Z so once I've done that I'll just add our target object so this object can be anything or you can use anything you want so in this case I'm just gonna use the icosphere and I'm just gonna subdivide this two times and set the smoothness to one so that I get something like this and uh, yeah and after you uh, added your target object, set one of the cubes and under constraint, add the object constraint called track2. And under target, set a icosphere or whatever the object is in your case. So once you've done that, you can see a cube over here is already started tracking it. So once you've done that, we're just gonna select all the cubes and hold on shift and highlight the cube we just added the constraint i will go to object and under constraint we're just gonna select the copy constraints to selected objects so now it applies the property of this cube to all the uh, all other cubes so now when you move the icosphere or all all our cubes will be tracked to that object so once we achieve this we're just gonna select entire cubes all the cubes we have and I'm just gonna duplicate this in Z axis and scale the sound a little bit so that you get the step kind of illusion so yeah once you've done that to animate this there's a cool trick so what you can do is that you can turn on this uh, auto key and once you turn on that I'm just gonna hit play and G shift Z you can just do this so However, you move your object is just gonna keyframe it. So once you're happy with that, you're just gonna turn off the keyframing, auto key, and just play the animation. So it's gonna play like this. So yeah, it's there are you know infinite ways you can animate this. And uh, if you just want the uh, roundabout kind of uh, animation, what you can do is that you can just uh, move the icosphere. Uh, to the x-axis like so and add a empty in the middle I'm just gonna move the empty up and we'll just parent the icosphere to the empty so select the icosphere first and then select the empty and press command P or control P and parent it to object so now when you uh, rotate your empty in z-axis our icosphere is gonna move like this so you can do that also if you want the looped animation so let me demonstrate I'm just gonna add a rotation keyframe to the empty and then the and to the frame 200 I'm just gonna rotate this 360 degrees in Z axis and add a rotation keyframe to the frame 200 and now when I play it's gonna do like this and if you want a looping animation you just select the keyframe whatever keyframe you have and press V on your keyboard and select it to vector so that it has a linear linear animation rate and yeah after you've done some you know lightings and texture it will look like this so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you loved it please subscribe to our channel as it encourages me to create videos like this in the future thanks for watching guys